Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Ember from the Rainbow Lemons here today, and we are going to be playing Batman and Telltale series. This will be part 3 of episode 1, and hopefully this is where we finish episode 1. Uh, so I will see you guys at the end of the video. I hope you enjoy it. Now I will let you guys know that I'm recording this right after I finished recording, well not right after, but a couple of hours after I finished recording uh, part 2 of episode 1, so uh, this will hopefully be the final episode that, uh, and everything will be done in this one, and these three will go up over the next couple of weeks, and then, based on your feedback on these videos, whether you like them uh, long, full Let's Plays, or you like want me to go back to doing my Funny Moments videos for this, uh, I will then base episode following episodes off that. So for the next couple of weeks, you'll get these long videos, and then I'll check through the comments and see what people want, and I'll make my decision on what you guys, what I'll give to you guys uh, for the next couple of episodes. So yeah, let's get right back into this. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. Hey, I broke his arm, man. What do you want from me? Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. Hmm. You got a valid point. Why is old Alfred? You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Mm -hmm. Just like your parents. And they died for it, Alfred. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject. But as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me. I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. It doesn't look like he fits that in that suit. your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. God damn, he's remember a fucking ninja. How the fuck did he... The alley. I How the fuck forget. did he get them out of the case without me seeing? Neither will I. Ooh. Well, back into the fray again. Oh, um... Let me just check my codex. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Got some feed. What do we got? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... Child pornography. More than I could have imagined. This is a complete... Just pornography in general? ...in Falcone's criminal organization. God what damn. What the world was Hill doing with all this? Blackmail. Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Do you see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Wow. <sighs> Okay, let's see. What's what? This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Jesus. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. 
What about that reporter just... from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Commissioner Gordon. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. I don't trust reporters, man. Decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Why? Why haven't you tried yet, man? It seems like one of the first things you do. Take, try to take down Falcone? Uh, is it Falcone or Falcone? I was, I was going on about this last episode. I really don't know which one it is. It's Don Falcone, Carmine Falcone, Carmine Falcone. I'm just <sighs> really, as Bruce Wayne didn't even go as Batman. This, this is a silver bullet, and it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. Where'd you get it? I don't even want to know where you got this. No, oh, okay, good. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But yeah, no shit. Thank no you. Cigar cigarettes will kill Honestly, you, mate. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. I'll sleep like a goddamn baby for once. Hey, you're not careful, mate. It'll be your last. You calling me here? I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always Good. supported the Gotham Police. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. Hmm. Huh. What is with Bat Bruce's eyes, man? It's like, oh, big eyes. Looks surprised all the time. It's like someone's got a gun go. at him. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Hmm. Huh. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. You'd be I'm right. Just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking <laughs> safer. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. Well, what's you must see this Batman disappearing hey, thing. Stick to Jim. Okay, Jim. <laughs> it's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. And though you're not hey, that matches the that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. Okay, I take back what I said in episode one. That's pretty fucking sick. Alright. Alright. You got me. You got me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it that. Damn, what is the with the weather, man? The weather in Gotham is a bit shit. I'm gonna turn down, that down a little bit, actually. Get the bit loud for me, yes. Alright. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. I'll say right now that that was not Falcone. <laughs> Tell me another. 
What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I Nothing. don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Damn, this dude's got some game. You make your rounds? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burns powder at night. The whole city can smell it. What's that? You. Modern here. Modern art. Modern art. That what passes for modern art these days? It's the office. Okay. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Options for taking this guy down. Mm. Good times, eh? Wait. Okay, I'm curious. Oh, shit. There we go. What can I do with this? That does seem very tempting. As tempting as that is. I'm probably gonna go at the coffee table. There you go, cool. Okay, that takes him out. Right. What do we got down here, huh? Another guy down here. This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered, Al. Yep. Sign tells me that that's going to take him down pretty good. Right, we got another guy by the door. But apparently I can't target him yet. That'll work. Okay, what about the guy on the balcony? Balcony guard. Balcony railing. How fitting. Okay. Ooh, okay, that's not actually how I thought that Bruce, one was gonna go. Have you formulated your plan of attack? Yeah, it only took me like ten minutes. Not yet. Reactivating drone cameras. Ready when you are. Okay. There's a dude at the door. It won't let me select him.
you know what, I think I might be ready. Possibly, I'm possibly gonna fuck this up and die, but um... I think, every possibility. Is this as far as I can go this way? It is. Who are you, my dude? Can, is there not a way that I can get out of this manually? Now let's just quickly break this link. Oh my god. Okay, mob stuff. Cool. Him. Is there anything else I can do with this guy? No, no. Ooh. I appear next to him. I choke him out. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? Yes. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Let's do this. <sighs> That's not what I was intending on doing, but all right. That works. His next broken. Ooh. <laughs> How am I going to take out this motherfucker? Ooh! There's no way he lived. Just saying. Was I not quick enough on some of those? Oh, great. Yeah, no, he's he's like dead. Ooh, big guy. God, big guy. Thanks for doing Show all those the hard yards, mate. You got no goddamn right to be here. Bye. Surprise! Mm. Isn't that gonna be fun, eh? How about this one? That's a big ass hole. Place gonna need some renos after this. 
<laughs> oh, you're not looking so good, Falcone. Spare yourself the pain, old man. Yeah, I've been through worse. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this whole thing. And it is a dead bat. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals you're so riled up about, they're mine, all right? This is not looking good for Batman, just saying. But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Go ahead, give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. <laughs> it's... The Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save the sea? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Damn, those cops are sure are ungrateful. Let's help them do their job, man. At least she thanked me. She did try to kill me. But, you know, the laugh that they missed and just fire absolutely, and like, took down Falcone with a hail of bullets. Tonight. The Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved hmm. that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly and I did it the right way. Dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. For generations, the big W it's on the bullshit. Wayne Rises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question... We no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? The Batman. Time will tell. Yeah, I told you. The fucking Batman, man. The Batman, man. Digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. What do you know, Alfred? You know fucking something. I know you do. You were in that photo. You know something. God damn. Car, 
This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! God damn. That dude's got quite a voice on him. I'll give him that. He can really, really project. That was, that was intense. Is that it? Is it done? Wow. That's... Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see how this goes. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Those 18 people, the 18% of people that played this game, I salute you for dealing with Falcone the way that I didn't. Hmm. Okay, so, um... Alright, okay, cool. Okay guys, that's it for this episode of Batman the Telltale series, episode 1, that's it, episode 1, Realm of Shadows, it's done. It only took three parts, so uh, next episode will be on the next episode, <laughs> the next thing, the next episode of the series, and uh, whatever that one is, I didn't, I can't remember. I, I just read it, I can't remember. Anyway, so the next video uh, that comes out of this will be that, and uh, that will... Ooh, at this point of recording, we'll probably be out in like six weeks, a month and a half. Wow, that's that's weird. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and like I said before, I'm trying out doing longer videos, and uh, tell, me guys, tell me what you guys think in the comments. And uh, remember to like the video, share it with your friends, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Mr. Rainbow, signing out.